Looks like he's been working out. Hey! What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the 3 0 Bumblebee movie Deluxe Soundwave. So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front here. We have a lovely image of Mr. Wave, Soundwave, and Ravage Transformers on the side of the box. Just have Decepticon symbol, the other side of the box, Decepticon symbol, up top, Soundwave and Ravage, on the bottom, things and stuff, barcodes, logos, on the back of the box, you just have Soundwave and Ravage, Decepticon symbol, Transformers, warning, don't eat anything in this box, that could be very bad for you, this is not a toy, not a toy, and if you open up the uh, front cover here, you have another image, of Soundwave, and right here obviously is the tray where the figure and all of its accoutrements sit, and that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have Soundwave as he appeared in the Bumblebee movie, and the next in Three Zeros. Uh, line of Transformers figures, and as always, these are non-transformable figures. Um, I know, yeah, boo, uh, hyperbole, hyperbole, whatever. Um, but I love these figures. I've loved all of these Transformers figures that they've put out. I think they're amazing. These are just pieces of art, as far as I'm concerned. Um, they're just, the, you know, I, I equate them to basically like you know, Transformers Hot Toys. Like this is just like kind of like high end. Make it as super accurate as you can. And uh, you don't have to be worried about hindered, being hindered by a transformation because it doesn't have to transform. So you can make it look as screen accurate as possible. And I love that and I appreciate it. Me personally, anyway, I give credit where it's due. Unlike some of you, but uh, that's getting closer. So we're gonna take a look now at his chest. Even though you, you, you can see what's going on in there. But let's start from the top and work our way down. Take a look at that noggin. And you can see very nicely done head sculpt here some nice detail going on nice coloration i like the little just the little bits of blue there on the side just to kind of break up the color but you got some nice kind of little grays in there just lots of nice detail tons of detail there in the necular region and all around there's basically kind of like a nice scuffing and weathering effect going on as you know, he's been through some scraps, been through some battles. And you can see his shoulder launcher right there. Getting nicely detailed. You got the red stripes there and all that good stuff. Really nicely done. And of course you can see the trans clearing chest there, Decepticon symbol with the yellow trim. You also got some red in there as well. We can see Ravage hiding in there. Again, lots of nice detail, just wonderful detail, wonderful paintwork. I mean, whoever sculpts these figures, honestly, they're an artist. <laughs> they are a legit artist because this is just amazingly done. Looks fantastic. And the people who, you know, the people in charge of the paintwork, whoever does the paintwork on these figures, again, artists, artists, as far as I am concerned. Of course, he's got his crotch buttons going on there. Lots of nice detail going on in there. Down the legs. You got a little bit of yellow in there as well. His big old feet. You can see they're pretty scuffed up. Even the bottoms of his feet have some detail as well. Got a little 3 0 logo stamp there on his toe. And moving up the back, just as much detail as there is in the front, pretty much. So cool. These are really well done. I am just a big, big fan of these, in case you haven't noticed. You can get all that detail there in the back. Got that gunmetal gray here in between the panels. Just really well done. This little armature here that the uh, shoulder cannon is on, this is made of die cast. But yeah, just a fantastic looking piece. Fantastic. Now, Articulation-wise, as usual with 3-0 figures, 
a lot of stuff moves on this guy. Um, his head is on a ball joint. Uh, the head itself is on a ball joint, and then the neck is on a ball joint, so you have lots of wiggly waggly, all kinds of wiggly waggly. He can look up, he can look down, squirrel, he can do that. Head can do a full 360, all that good stuff. All the shoulder cannon can move up and down. It can rotate, you can even kind of tilt it to the side if you want. So you can pretty much angle that however you wish. Uh, arms can rotate, can do a full 360. They can move in and out at this hinge here. You also have a hinge at the base, which allows it to move even higher. You can see this little panel right here will move out of the way to accommodate that movement. When you bring this section of the arm up, you can see a little bit of tampographed detail in there. You got that, you can see a shoulder panel also is on a hinge, so that will move out of the way for you. If you needed to, uh, you have bicep rotation. Uh, you do have a double jointed elbow. So you have a nice range of movement there. You can see all that stuff that gets revealed when you use those joints. Very nice how that all works. And as far as the hands go, you do have wrist rotation. The hands are on a ball joint. So you have your wiggly waggly rotation. There's also a hinge in there that allows the hand to move in and out. Um, there is waist rotation. You do have to move his, uh, his crotch buttons out of the way. And these are on their own hinge here. So you can just pull these up. Oops, you gotta make sure you clear stuff. There you go. Move that up and you have that waist rotation. You also have some side to side movement as well. And these side panels here, as you can see that this, this panel right here, this is rubber. And I'm assuming that's just so, if you're using that side to side movement, you know, it's gonna bump up against things, but it's not gonna damage anything. So that's pretty yeah, nice. That's a pretty nice little safety feature there. So you're not damaging anything. And again, here's a, uh, this crotchular region does have some articulation. You have this panel here, which is on a double hinge. So you can get that out of the way if you need to. And even this section here is on its own ball joint. So you can kind of move that around, you know, so you can get that out of the way if you need to. Um, he does have an ab crunch. So you can get some good crunching going on. And uh, just like their prime, when you engage the ab crunch here, you get all of this extra detail that gets revealed and that's really cool. Really well done. It just gets hidden away. Love that, love how that works. Now as far as the legular region goes, you can move these side panels here. They're on a double hinge, so you can bring these down and you, you'll need to. So if you get this out of the way, uh, the legs, they can. Move forward about that far. There is a hinge in here, which allows you to bring the hip down a bit. So you can get some extra movement there on the legs. You can get forward about that far back. You can move his, uh, his little butt plates out of the way. Again, these are just on joints, on ball joints. Although they can get a little stuck. Where are you getting stuck? Where are you getting stuck? There you go. You can move that up, get it out of the way. So if you want some back movement, get about that far back. And you're moving this panel down to accommodate the outward movement. So you can get almost the full splits there, almost. Uh, you do have your thigh rotation, not a lot, just a little bit. You get some rotation there. The, the rotational joint is right there at the hip. And as far as knees go, you do have a double jointed knee. And again, another little clever bit of engineering here. You know, when you engage the bottom joint, you can see you get some extra details there that get revealed, some parts that fill in gaps. But when you engage this joint, it will actually pull down the thigh piece with it. And you get some extra detail there that is revealed. And that's really cool. Again, how that works. How that all just works in tandem there. Quite impressive, very impressive. And as far as the feet go, you can pull the feet down. That will give you lots of upward movements, downward movements. You have your ankle tiltage, and you also have a bit of rotation, and you even have a bit of a toe joint there, and these back pieces on his heels, they can move up and down a little bit if you need them to. Now, as far as accessories go, uh, he does come with a bunch of optional hands. The ones that are on him right now are just the closed fists, 
but you do also get a pair of gun holding hands. Uh, you get a pair of just relaxed open hands. You get a pair of just splayed out no hands. That's what I always call them. And again, really nice coloration. And again, just the detail is just amazing. Look at all the detail going on here, just like in between the joints and everything. Like that is just crazy. A crazy amount of detail. Looks so good. And you also get a pointing hand. So you can point and tell people go there, do that, over there, now. So you can do that. And you also get his gun. Which is done in a nice gun, metal gray. Again, lots of nice detail going on there. And this bit here moves because reasons. It moves. <laughs> it moves if you want it to move. But yeah. Very nicely done. And of course, the hands are very easy to swap. They're just on a ball joint. So you can just pop off that hand and pop on whatever hand you want. But you know what? We'll have him holding his gun. And the fingers on all of these hands are flexible. So you don't have to worry about stressing anything or cracking anything. Everything will just kind of move out of the way for you. And works nice and smoothly. And then you can just pop this on. Like so, and he can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang. Is this bluish compatible? Uh, I don't know if this is bluish compatible. I have to see if this is bluish compatible. Let me get my bluish. Come here, bluish. Come here, bluish. We gotta see. Wait a second. This might, this might, this might. Uh, it does. It does. It's a little loose, but you know what? It works. It works. It works. Soundwave can do a big ol' bluish. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. This can't. You can't plug this on anything, but hey. The gun can. Hey, why not? Dare I say, why not? But there you have that. Now, one more accessory that he has, a very important one, is uh, he has one of his little minions hiding in his chest. So we can just open this up. There's no button, you just pull it open, and in there, little Ravage is hiding, and we can just slide him out. And you can see in here, I don't know, you can see it. There we go. You can see there's some tampographed details in there. There was a part of me that was wishing all this was actually molded in, but I'm assuming they just made it all flat, so that way there, you know, there'd be no chance of damaging Ravage as you're trying to get him in and out of the chest. I guess I wanted to make that just nice and smooth, so you know, Ravage wouldn't get uh, damaged or you know, make anything too difficult as far as the Ravage interaction goes. But oh no, still makes for a nice effect. Close that up, and uh, yeah, let's uh, let's come down here for a minute and. Let's talk about a little Ravage. You can see it's just kind of folded up to a little cube here, a little rectangle. And yeah, so <laughs> he does, he does basically, I mean, he transforms. It is a transformation, you see. I mean, it's, it's, it's no more than what they usually do, really. Um, so what you're going to do here is you're going to untab these legs. They tab in from the side here and they tab into the top of these legs. You untab that to so get all that untabbed. And these hind legs also, there's a little tab in there that the side of the knee goes into. So just untab those things and just kind of loosen all this up. Boop, get all that done like so. At this point now, we can just kind of grab the tail, bring it up along with this panel. We can just kind of bring these legs back and we can flip out the head. There's this little section here that you bring up. And these little panels here that you flip up like so and then just bring that up and that just fills out the chest get these out of the way for now and as far as the uh the hindquarters go you just want to rock all of this back like so and the hind legs themselves have a little hinge that allows them to move back just want to just kind of pull that 
You're pulling it back, you're pulling it down. No, you're pulling it, you're pulling it down, actually. So you're pulling that down like so. And then you want to take his body and just extend it like that. Then we just bring his legs down and all of his legs do extend. You just grab hold, just give it a little pull. All that will extend. Hind legs as well. Yeah, this one's a little tighter. There we go. Pull that out. Pull that out. Got this little panel here on his back that just raises up a bit. And we're pretty much done. We can get his hind legs just kind of situated here. Sitting where it needs to be sitting. There we go. And bring that up. And we're pretty much done, but he needs some of his uh he needs his accoutrement here. So he has this little section right here, and this just plugs onto his back via these posts and ports. Let's plug that in. Just pop that back up. See that going on. And of course he has his little hip missiles. And they just plug in on either side. And there you go. There you have Ravage. And Ravage looks amazing as well. Really, really cool. Again, the amount of detail is just astounding. That face sculpt there. Nice red for the eyes. Get lots of detail going on there. Septicon symbols right there. Lots of nice red. And again, he has that well, kind of weathering effect. He's got some dirt, got some scratches. No claws. Again, lots of nice detail. Amazing paintwork. All around really cool really well done really well done now articulation wise uh he can look up he can look down the mouth and open he's got a little i don't know if you can see it he's got a little focus focus camera focus focus there we go you see he's got a little tongue in there and everything uh the front legs can rotate, they're on a ball joint. They can move in and out a little bit. They can, you know, rotate in and out a little bit. Uh, you got this joint here, which can move forward and back. The front paws just have a little bit of forward and back movement. Uh, the hind legs, again, can rotate. They're on a ball joint as well. Got your wiggly waggly, all that good stuff. You have this knee joint, which can only move that far. You have this joint, which can move forward and back a little bit, and again, those rear paws can just move up and down a bit. Tail, just on a hinge at the base, so I can move up and down some. But yeah, there you have Ravage, and there you have Soundwave, and they do look quite, quite good together. And of course, like all the other 3A Transformers, he does include the base of the display, it's just done in black. Transformers Bumblebee logo right there. It's done in purple with the 3 0 logo. We get some nice detail there. And of course, you have the adjustable base. You can just bring this up to unlock it. You can angle that how you want and just push it down to lock it in place. The suction can extend and then it locks into place to bring it down. You just want to push that lever down. And that will lock. It always locks in the down position, then we can pull it up. It pulls up freely, but to bring it back down, you have to engage that little lever there. And this section here, the, the connector piece, if you want to adjust the angle, you do have to uh, pop this off and then just place it however you want. And that will lock it into place. And to attach Soundwave to the base, uh, we do have to remove this panel here on this butt. If it removes the little butt panel, oops, it fell on the floor. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Here it go. Here it go. I found it. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to be just, we're plugging this into his butt, basically. I mean, it's, there's no other way. <laughs> there's no other way to say it. So it just plugs right in there, like so. Again, just have him maybe down a little bit more. There we go. So his feet are actually on the ground. There we go. And we got Soundwave, and we got Ravage. 
All that good stuff going on there. Yeah, me likes, me likes. And the last thing to talk about is the light up feature. Um, now to access the battery compartment, uh, you just want to get right under this seam right here. So just kind of get your fingernail under there. Just pop off the top of his head. And right in here is the battery compartment. It takes uh, two AG13s or LR44s. So once you pop those in, uh, those batteries are not included, by the way. You do have to get those yourself. But once you have those installed, you just uh, pop the top of his skull back on. And to turn on the lights, you just push his forehead. Boop. There you go. And his eyes glow a nice bright red. And that looks really cool. That just finishes off the look for Soundwave. So, yeah. Very nice. So there you have that. And now for comparison. Now we'll start off with Ravage. Uh, here he is with the, uh, with the masterpiece Ravage. He's just a little guy. And here he is with the, uh, with the Ocular Max Ravage. As you can see how that works out. So, there you have that. Now, as far as Soundwave goes, um, he stands at about 11 and a half inches tall to the top of his head, so he's a pretty big figure, but here he is with uh, the 3-0 Bumblebee. With the 3-0 Prime. With Blitzwing. Here he is with the uh, Toy World Bumblebee Movie Prime. And here he is with the uh, Masterpiece Soundwave. So, there you go. So there you have Soundwave and Ravage. And as always, I love Three Zeros figures. I love what they do. Um, you know, again, like I said at the top of the video, these are just works of art as far as I'm concerned. I absolutely love them. Just the amount of detail, the paintwork, all of it is fantastically done. Um, you know, just looks amazing on the shelf. Just fun to mess with, fun to pose. Um, you know, hey, Ravage transforms. So that should bring the hyperbole down a quarter of a notch, although that's probably still me giving the fandom a little too much credit. But hey, you know, it's something, <laughs> but... <laughs> You know, like I've said before, and I'll say it again, I don't care that these don't transform. For what these are, what they are intended to be, they are excellent pieces. They are wonderfully done, and I absolutely love these figures. They keep making them. I will keep buying them because I am a fan. I am just a diehard fan of what 3-0 does, so... There you go. Now, if you would like this or any of 30's other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below so you can check that out and i think that's it so don't forget to check out m games check out love peace paranormal follow me on twitter all of that good stuff down in the description below and i think that's pretty much all there is to say so there is the three zero bumblebee movie deluxe sound wave and ravage and this is mgo saying remember you don't stop playing because you grow old you grow old because you stop playing big geek be proud Home in your face! Hey, Soundwave, what are you doing? We have been ordered to infiltrate the Autobot compound at any cost. Yeah, yeah, that's great, that's great, okay, cool. Well, listen, can I borrow your, uh, can I borrow your little pet for a second? Is it part of the mission? No, no, it has nothing to do with the mission. I dropped something under a grate and I, uh, I thought he could get it for me. My response is simply this. Talk to the hand. Are you, are you serious right now? You know no one says that anymore, right? I am saying it now, therefore the clock has been reset. Hey, that, 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 that kind of makes sense. But still no.